Works. So, New Mexico mother and son face jail time for incestuous relationship. Okay, let's go. Can't drink that on camera. Okay. Put it down. Okay. <laughs> this may get crazy. Well, it's already crazy. What am I talking about? Make it crazy. I'm sorry. I don't know how you react to this. I'm your mom and you're my son. And I am falling in love with him. She said that? She said that? She ain't say that. She said that? She said that? You gonna step off camera and drink that? She said that. How that is the weirdest thing ever. I would like to consider myself a mother and I'm in love with all of my kids, but not romantically. Right. The like way a mother love loves them from the, from the moment they're in your womb and they're they, kicking they, they, and pushing up against your ribs and you're having to actually take that crap. You can't hit them back. And you know, you got, <laughs> issues. You got issues. I got issues because you, you made my pregnancy the best pregnancy ever. I don't like that. That was very sarcastic. I can tell by your tone. <laughs> don't sit down so hard. And then y'all of a sudden you got this whole thing to come out the shirt and it says, Ooh, and you're like, mm, get back. <laughs> Don't push me, I'm gonna push you, but um Yes. What what mother, by the way? <laughs> what mother? You had my rib hurting. What mother, by the but way? Anyways. That that you know when they're pregnant and the baby kick, she pushed back. <laughs> I was that used to get me heated, bro. <laughs> It was funny, y'all. Y'all No, like, it was Whoa. not funny. It was. It was not funny. That used to get me heated, fam. I know it. I know it. But baby kick, she poked, she poked the baby back. Like, it who does strong, that? He was a strong little something. He used to tear me up, boy. But, but I, again, I was in love with him from the moment I saw him. Like, both of my kids, they are like, there isn't anything I wouldn't do for them besides teach them how to kiss. And leave Jim Jones alone. Leave Jim Jones alone. And I'm not romantically no. That, I could, That's sad. I, I could not believe she just said that. That's no, sad. I, that, I'm ready to hear her story. I got like this opinion about it, but I want to hear what she has to say. Oh, it's it's two parts. We're gonna check out her side, and then we're gonna check out his side tomorrow. Get back in screen and stop drinking that. Oh, I'm back. He was too falling in love with me, with his mom, and I was falling in love with my son. He said that? He said that. First of all, you, won't, you don't have this child in school. That is not your role. And you know, they constantly say that broken people produce more broken people like that is not cool where is this at new mexico uh, that's what they said new mexico that is not cool what what part of new mexico because i've been wanting to go to new mexico for like a like a vacation but i don't want to end up in the wrong spot you know what i mean what's some good destinations in mexico we wouldn't be going to that spot. I can tell you that. I just want to make sure. I That's just want to make sure. Want to make sure. Y'all let me know the good spots to, to go in. I asked him, will you ever date your mom? And he said, will you date your son? I said, honest truth, yes, I would. Because 19 years, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. And I really want to be with you the rest of my life. Sad. I was thinking that and sad. She needs help. Like, how do you Cause, even... No, because they say, you know, when people, when women are born, you know, in single parent households, they don't have that male figure. Then they're on search. They're in search for that with different relationships. So then you had this male child and you took that really the same person you had to teach how to eat, how to point his little thing in the right place, not pee in the corner of your bedroom because you're scared to go down the hall. Like, you know. Our kids, bro. <laughs> they did some stuff. They, they did some stuff to us. We really got. Plus some, your cell phone, you know. Ooh. We got some trauma. We got some trauma. Yes. Took a bankroll of money that I had and took it to school and was passing it ooh. out like it was candy. You get an ice cream. You get an ice cream. You get an ice cream. <laughs> K 
kids, <laughs> kids will literally <laughs> take you to the brink, <laughs> bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, but they say that, you know, that's what happens. You know, that we as women, you know, we don't have that figure. So we'd be on the search for it. But that is sick. <laughs> Yes. That is sick. That's, how do you even sit down and have that type of conversation? You know, I'm feeling you. I'm fe falling in love. I'm I falling mean, in love with you. You're the best thing. Huh? Like, you literally had to wash his private parts. So, yeah, you've seen him grow. So, in the, in the title, it says they're facing jail time. What type of charges? Can I, they I, should be. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Okay. I agree. But what type of charges come with that? Like, how many years come with that? I've never even. I, that's and you not talking to you a, think to even Google. Bro. That's what I was getting <laughs> at. That's exactly what I was getting at. Because I'm like, man, I watch a lot of cop videos. I watch a lot of unsolved, solved, a, a lot of different cop videos. I've that's not never. Even what I was expecting right there. I've never. That's ever, that's ever, 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 smoky style. Never, ever, ever heard something like that's this. That's sick. Like this. That's sick. And my mom, my dad, my brothers, oh, my, my family's accepting it now. This girl found out. So it's across the street from me, and there was a big old, rest, uh, big old fight started, and she came, she called me. She told my son Joseph something and let me know across the street, and she told me I better watch my back because I'm being incest. I'm not being incest. And she was outside cussing me out, so I went and go get... Did she just say she's not being incest? Yes. Clearly, she has no idea. That's and her so brain weird. works totally different. I think that's what it is. I feel like sometimes it's the brain, like there's something off, and then it's also your environment. For I cannot honestly believe that her family, your entire family, condoned accepted that. that. Exactly. 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 It's nobody that's... Sometimes we just have to tell people the truth and be like, no, baby, you sick. I, you can't support people. It just tell, like, no. No, baby, you sick. You're dang right. And that was the nice way. Like, <laughs> that was the nice like, way. Y'all don't understand who, the work you put to say that right now. Exactly. Who, who said that? Who says it like that? No, baby, you're sick. No, no, no. In the head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's sick in the head. Can you imagine? Okay. Like, no no emotions or anything. Just, just you know, for the dialogue, right? Can you imagine one of your sisters coming and sitting, sitting down with you like, hey, I'm in love with my oldest son, and we're, into, we're in a relationship. What are you going to say? My sisters know me very, very well. I was just thinking that all my family know me, so that's why I use you because they were not coming to me with that bull crap. Right? <laughs> if you don't want me to say what is what, if you don't want what's don't gonna open come, the don't door. open the door. Don't open the door. Don't don't. don't, open, you don't know, open and then my door. thing is, is that I would have felt like I'm always. I feel the, like if I know something like that, and I know that okay, that she's a little bit off in the head, and she's convincing this. This child who's supposed to be looking to you for guidance and direction and, you know, all this wisdom and help and and you're manipulating that because of a hole in you. I'm going to report you. So that's, that's my nephew. That's why we're always the last ones to know that's stuff. That's my nephew. I'm always the last you one to know something. You're going to keep producing more broken people. That's true. That's that's 1,000% true. Your crowd Think of should, what you're you starting. should have... If you have a crowd around you that is constantly like, okay, yes, oh, you right, you right, and they consistently changing the narrative to make you always feel like sometimes you may be right, but with this situation, that was just wrong. That was enabling her. Like for all of them to just be like, yo, it's, it's normal. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not. She looks really slow right now. Yeah. Like not said, only did she mess her sick. up, her sons and her other kids. You got other kids? I, I laughed at you earlier, but you're right. She's sick. She's sick. She's sick. She's definitely sick. Cause because there's a can't... hole in her is somewhere, whether somebody did something to her in the mail or something, and y'all are sitting there like making up excuses for her hole. If she continues to screw up, uh, however many kids she has. Yeah, this is gonna turn into generation effect, like yeah. a generational effect. 
Like this could go down further and you snowball think, into something. If she had four kids and it's one that she's in a relationship with, but the other ones had to accept it. Now in their mind, they're thinking that's okay. No. <laughs> and think about and it's the, not. I'm just not attracted to my sister. We ain't so even, okay. we ain't even talk about the backlash that she had to go through, the, the the fight she about got into with the neighbor because. You know what I mean? You doing this and you're and out. In her and mind, she's probably thinking, oh, you got the hots for my son. Da, da, da. And it's like, no, sis, it's sick. And my kids is now looking at it thinking like, oh, okay. No, 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 no. That is not right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, this could, this could, wow. Whew. This is wrong. Yeah. Get everybody on my house and she got her family. We got stabbed, beaten up, jumped. Ambulance showed up. It was me, Carlos, and the kid's uncle got stabbed because the incest, because she made a big deal out of all of this. So when we went to the hospital, we got stitches, came back home, and on that side, her family didn't get arrested at all. So I don't know why nobody didn't get arrested at the time. I was just thinking that. That's, and that's one of the things, like, as a parent, our decisions affect our kids. Right. So now, everybody's going through this. Everybody, you know, and I was just telling you today about something I seen last night where um, a 12-year-old 12 year, 12 year boy committed suicide and hung himself in his room. He was getting bullied at school. So two days before, he got punched in the eye, and then two days later, they found him hanging. So now my other kids are going to school, and they're getting bullied and picked right. on for something that's off in you. Right. Right. Like that angers me. It's sick and it angers me that so many people just don't say something. And the thing is, you're the parent. You're supposed to be the responsible one that protects your kids from. But obviously she was having kids and she's not whole. There's there's a you know, there's a there's something wrong with her. There's a hole in her heart. There's something that she's trying to fill or fix. And instead of somebody telling her or trying to get her help. Now, I don't think she should be stabbed and attacked. Like, Facts. come on, people. We can't kill them. <laughs> like, come on. But she does need help. Right. Right. Calling defects. I mean, calling, like, a family, an intervention. <laughs> right. Because now I'm like, this, this, is, this is sick. At some point in time, you may have to protect the child from their parent. The, uh, and the other kids. Mm-hmm. Because now you're saying it's public record. That means they got your address and everything and newspapers and things. And people, there are some mean and evil people out here that will torment and bully you. Mm -hmm. And that's just not right. Mm -hmm. Or for one of your kids to not be getting, you know, bullied. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden something happens to them because you decided. Yeah, now they got to totally live in fear. Exactly. They got to totally live in fear. Your problem has now become everybody's problem. Right. That's so selfish. Facts. Facts. Like, that I just agree. upsets me, knowing you got so many other kids. They're going to get picked on. That's a fact. That's horrible. They just, the other moms don't understand. They're not going through what I'm going through. It'd be different if they were. It's, I just, I have, like I said, I didn't raise them for 19 years. It feels like a new person and my, my love like came back and like in my life, I've been waiting for all these years. It feels like, like he's my. Huh? Didn't I tell you? What? Did I not say she has a hole? They, I have did. I, I've, I've raised them for 19 reading. years, but it sounds like I, a new person has come into my life. What? She has been searching for love. She's been searching for that person to be there. She has a hole she's been trying to fill. And now you're trying to fill it with your son. No. <laughs> like, bro, it's dating apps out there. Like, it's it's somebody out there for you. You don't have to do this. Like, I... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to actually, because I'm that type of person, I'm going to do some research. I would love to know, like, how many mothers do this? I've heard mothers having postpartum. I've heard m mothers, you know, put, putting kids in trash cans or leaving them at the daddies. I have never 
This is this is new for me. This like is I don't different. know how you found this one, but you did that. Yes, this you did. This is different. This is straight up. Yes, this is different. Wait, you know, we it don't it don't get to him or get to me. Actually, I feel like more than his lover because it got so deep, and it feels kind of at first at first kind of felt weird, but now it don't feel weird at all to me because I love him so much. See. See this 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 take the, don't don't y'all like y'all need to leave Jim Jones alone because that's nothing. I think that's how it's popped up on my feed. That's nothing. I think that's how it's popped up on my feed, but this is a problem. Whoa. Whoa. I just I it's it's making my brain hurt. Like I don't oh. It's making my brain hurt. It's making me angry. Oh, it's making me really angry. And I don't, it's like, I don't know what Mexico got going on, but for real. So y'all let her, <laughs> her and a son have a relationship, kids. And I know there had to be rumors and stuff going around, but especially for the neighbor to, to get into an altercation and she gets stabbed and everything. And the cop didn't even arrest, <laughs> arrest them. It's like, I was like, huh? That was uh, weird. Where is this at again that you just got stabbed? Nobody got arrested but you? That's like, crazy. and then you told your family, your family's accepting it. Like, I, I'm like, no. Like, that's endangerment of all children. So, all y'all then sick, and all y'all need to get out of jail. <laughs> y'all get out. bleach all y'all minds, because that ain't right. Y'all get at us in the comment section, man. This one was a real. Shocker, and we're gonna check out. I thought you said there's a part two. There is. We're gonna oh, check out. We're gonna we're gonna check out the part two. We're gonna hear his. We've heard her side of the story. We're gonna check out and hear his side of the story next. I would love to know if this happened earlier on. All right, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> go. 